almost by the house. By the time I got stopped, they kept walking. But look at them. Ain't they beautiful? Oh. I love me some turkeys, people. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're getting so close to the road they can see the traffic. Gotta love them. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, that's the sign, and you see that wire right there, that coax wire, it's gonna go right there. And it's gonna look really good up on that wall. <laughs> Well, I got a lot of noise coming from that guy right there on that excavator, but I'm going to talk anyway. The sign is laying on the ground. These two guys walking right over there to it, they're the ones hanging it on the wall. And it's got to be right. I mean, there's got to, architects got a height and a width and everything for it. So they're looking at it. It's their job. They got this lift truck, this boom truck, I should say. That's gonna be how they pick it up. And above the brick, above the lift truck, there are gonna be letters up there. I haven't seen them yet, but they'll be there. You remember the other day they had this drilling rig right over here? Well, that's a fiber splicer from AT&T. And they come across to this box right here and he's that's what he's doing is hooking the cable up to that box I asked him about 5g and he said that he knows for sure there's some that's activated in Ozark Missouri on Fremont Street I haven't seen it so I got to look at that and see if I can find it but he I showed him the uh, the one down on the third pole, one, two, three. The wire and then the little black connector box for fiber connecting is what they call it. But when it's silver, I believe it's a 5G connection. So I asked him about 5G and he he really didn't know. And I asked him what did he think it was safe and he said he didn't know. He ain't done his research, but maybe he will. I talked to um, one of the chiefs that was here. He was part right there, but he's gone now. And uh, I asked him about doing uh, like a video with with him and the guys once they get move in, get established, set up. You know, like a week, two weeks go by after they're actually running this fire station. And he said he'd be happy to. So that way uh, I can. Uh, and get more into meeting the guys so historically the fire department has been the one to come against 5g and had it literally removed from around their fire station but there's none right here on this fire station now but still i need them to come against it if they understand that it's what i'm thinking it is I wish you'd look at this mess. The police is having to help him get the mattress off the top of the car. Well, what do you reckon? He pulled over off the road and he's stuck. Is, is that what's wrong? He's got the mattresses off. He's gonna pull away.
Now, I wonder what he's gonna do. Now he's walking back to his car. Let's see if he's going to let him go. There he comes. He, he helped him out. That's a good guy. Wave at him, everybody. That's a good police. Tell everybody your name. Mark Wheeler. This is your place. This is my place. You're the brains behind this operation. I guess. These are mums, y'all. Hardy mums. Yeah. And they're growing. One of the reasons they're growing so good people, look at them. They're going to they get bigger by the week. Is he's got the brains of figuring out how to get them water. How'd you learn it? Just by talking to people. Yeah, that's why I'm talking to you because this is, this is, I mean, this could be duplicated on a small level. But the box up there with the key in it is the brain. Yeah, it's like at any other time where you normally use the irrigation system in your home or anywhere. And it's, it goes down here. It controls, the, the, controls the valves and tells the valves when to come on and that's what releases the water. And at a timely manner, you see how all these little gray lines go to the black line and each one goes into a pot and he's got it calculated and figured fertilizer water and all for to make everything grow that's some doing you just once you got one line running good you duplicated it and you took it all the way across over there 15 zones 15 zones i ain't even trying okay time of the day is important we normally water about two o'clock in the morning, and then again about it comes on again about uh, I believe eleven or twelve in the day. Yeah. So two in the morning, and eleven or twelve in the day. And keep them good and wet. Get them good and wet. You can walk around and stick your finger in them. You can tell if you're not something's wrong. Well, yeah, the other plant will be dry. Yeah, yeah. it'll they get clogged up. Lines a bit clogged up. Got to clean them out. Yeah. So yeah. you're always having to check them. Always. So how many years have you been growing mums? Probably 15. Now these are chrysanthemums. Right. So some are purple, some are gold, some are multicolored. Now they do sell a multicolored. I don't grow a multicolored. You don't grow a multicolored. I'm old fashioned. Well you don't have them labeled right now. They're labeled, they're, they're, each pot has a tag. Okay. In the pot they're planted in rows of colors they are yeah uh-huh i seen um your other place is going towards highlandville i have one in highlandville yeah i have a spot right across from sam's club in springfield off of east sunshine there's east sunshine in springfield he said he's got another place and you did have this whole corner over here i did and johnny morris talked real sweet to you and told you that uh he he, i ran from johnny for 25 years 25 years yeah. We'll lose this spot next year. Yeah, Johnny let you do it this year, yeah. but he went ahead and uh, took over the building because they're going to do some renovation. I heard they're going to keep it as is. As is. So you've, you've probably seen the layout of what's going to go in here in the years to come. It's on the website. It's on uh, Bass Pro? Ozarkmill.com. Ozarkmill.com, okay. Well, I do the update of the Ozark Mill, so I, I'm the very one who needs to know that. Yeah. <laughs> Driveway's right there. This will be a parking lot. But it's actually at the farm. It's called Finley River Farm. It's going to be a farming. A driveway. farming deal. Yeah, with well, the old mill. And yeah. It's going to have some gardens down in, along the riverway. And Better walk trail. A lot we, of walk trails. We need water. See, we got a walk trail from the Ozark down to here, but we got no water, no way to feed pets. So he's Johnny Morris is going to take care of it. He's going to hook it up. It may take a little while. But eventually, it, it'll go all the way to Springfield. The trails. Oh, that'll be nice. He's going to build cabins up on this hillside. A hotel. Cabin. Get on, get on there and look at that website. It's cabin. Really cool. Restaurant down at the mill. And, Restaurant at the mill, and, and this literally is the parking lot. This is the parking lot for all that's going to go in here. Yeah. Do you see a time frame when you're looking at the website? going to open the mill. Uh, it'll be done next fall. Next fall, and then 
for this cabins and the hotel is going to take a that's, down that's in the road down yeah well i sure appreciate you you bet I, i'm going to follow it all the way to you you're selling them <laughs> it's really pretty when it's empty <laughs> yeah well that's when your pocket's full of money man well i don't know about that but uh paper product anyway yeah, yeah it's it, you have to pay to play yeah that's that's what Johnny did. He paid to play, and now everything he touches, he makes money. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs>